This video presents the new hierarchical beam element type and how you can create and set up multi-segment beams. ARCHICAD introduces enhancements to the beam tool. A beam is now a hierarchical element type, which means that a single beam element may be composed of multiple segments. If we open the beam setting dialog, we can see that the dialog has a new organizational layout that is similar to the layout of other hierarchical tools of ARCHICAD, such as the curtain wall, stair, and railing tool. The left pane of the dialog shows several settings page buttons. while its top right portion shows the settings fields for the beam's dimensions, along with a preview window. Below these are situated the various settings panels belonging to the settings page button selected on the left. If we activate the segment page of the dialog and click the multi-segmented button, a list of the beam segments is displayed by default showing the settings of a single segment. Click the Add button below the list to add new segments to the beam definition. In our example, we are adding four segments for a total of five segments. Information is displayed about various settings of each segment in the list. From left to right, it displays its structure type, the building material of its structure, or name of its complex profile its length, and an icon indicating whether the segment's length is fixed or flexible. In the Structure panel, we can set or modify the settings of the segment selected in the list. The settings of each individual segment may be set independently. Using usual operating system shortcuts, we can select one or multiple segments in the list and modify most of their settings in a single step. The preview window always gives feedback on which segment or segments are selected in the list. Using the Shape buttons, we can select the shape of the segment, which may be rectangular, circular, and complex profile, and set its building material or select the profile to be used. Each segment may be set independently. In our example, we will use rectangular segments. On the right side of the panel, we may specify the dimensions of the segment. A new capability is offered by a button to the left of the dimensions fields. If we click the tapered size button, we can define the dimensions of the segment at both ends, thereby achieving a tapered segment geometry. The next pair of buttons define the length type of the segment. We can either have a fixed length, in which we can specify the exact length of the beam segment. Or it can have a flexible length. Flexible length segments may change their length when the full length of the beam is modified. Let us consider a few examples. In case of the top beam, all segments have a fixed length. So the full length of the beam is also fixed and will not change when we try to graphically modify it. In case of the middle beam, the middle segment has flexible length. So when we modify the full length of the beam, the length of this segment dynamically changes, while the lengths of all other segments stay the same. In case of the bottom beam, we make the middle segment the only segment with fixed length, so the length of all other segments change dynamically with the change in beam length. To the right of the percentage field, you can click the arrow pop-up button and select a common value from the list. Let us select the 25% value for all other segments. 
Please note that the length type and length are the only settings in this panel that may not be set for multiple segments in a single step and need to be set segment by segment. If we now modify the full length of the beam, we can see that all four flexible length segments are stretched and the ratio between their lengths stays the same. The segment list contains not only the defined segments, but joins between segments as well. If we select a join in the list, the angle of join buttons in the segment join panel become enabled. In this panel, you may set the angle of join value for the selected join to horizontal, vertical, or custom angle. Additionally, in the Beam page of the Settings dialog, the new End Cuts and Reference Access panel lets you set angles for the start and end of the beam. Using these fields, it is possible to set the angle of either end or any join of the beam, which is particularly useful for inclined beams or beams with special geometry. You can select any segment in the segment list and move it to another position by dragging the segment's up and down arrow icon on the left. Additionally, you may select any segment, right click, and activate the Copy Segment command to copy the settings of the segment to the clipboard. Then select another segment, right click, and use the Paste Segment command to transfer the settings of the copied segment to the active segment. Using these commands, you can transfer the settings of the segments from one to the other. If the structure of a segment is set to Complex Profile and the selected profile includes parametric modifiers, the Profile Offset Modifiers panel becomes enabled and you can set the values of these modifiers for the segment. Additionally, if the segment geometry is set to be tapered, modifiers will be available for both the start and end of the beam segment. Using parametric complex profiles in multi-segment beams offers very impressive geometric capabilities. In previous versions, it was possible to create horizontally curved beams. ARCHICAD is now capable of creating vertically curved beams. In the Beam page of the dialog, you will find another pair of buttons in the Positioning panel that control whether a straight or vertically curved beam is created. The field to their right lets you specify the height of the curved beam. Please note that a curved beam may not contain tapered segments, and a beam that contains tapered segments may not be curved. It is also possible to save beams and beam segments as favorites. If you activate the Favorites button on the Beam page, the whole beam will be saved as a favorite. And if you activate the Favorites button while on the Segment page, only the selected segment will be saved as a favorite. Please note that only individual segments of the beam may be saved as a favorite, but not a series of segments. Please watch all other clips in this playlist to fully familiarize yourself with the enhancements made to the column and beam tools of ARCHICAD.